Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, good news and bad news. Bad news is absolutely no unit test. Today we're gonna to show you how to unit test RX observables, two parts, the observable itself and the actual pure functions that go inside of it. The ammo that you create, the nice pure awesomeness, radness to go inside those streams, make them really strong. Two problems. First, this is not a function. We can export the observable, but like, what is this? And it had a subscribe on it, I actually took that off. So what we're gonna do is wrap this guy inside of a function and parameterize a couple things. First, the file path is no longer hard-coded to data JSON. Originally, it was reading out the text in here, this data JSON file, and parsing it. So we've changed that now to be a parameter. So you can do file path, and we're going to keep this hard-coded for the encoding. Second is the read file function used to be a file system dot read file and we don't want unit test to do IO. You want to make sure that you don't affect the outside world after running unit test. We've parameterized this, but we've defaulted it to this if you don't pass actually anything. Lastly, we've gotten rid of the subscribe. Whoever calls this can subscribe to it, do their own filters, things like that. For now, we're going to build in the map and show you how to test that. So we've exported out the two, the pure function for verifying that the actual role was in there. And we've exported out the read config JSON. Expose this untestable code with modules particularly just a function that wraps our Rx module. Second, inside of our unit test, we're importing it. Should return an age of 23. We're going to do age because if you're parsing a string and you get a number out, you know most likely something worked somewhat. <laughs> Go ahead and call this. Now, this is going to be asynchronous, so let's include the done callback function. Mocha, if you call this with nothing, that lets you know, hey, Mocha, I'm done. If you call it with something, you know, hey, Mocha, I got an error and here's what it is. So this lets the unit test know it's going to take a while. The actual code inside of it will take control and say, hey, dude, I'll tell you when I'm done. Give me that done function, I'll call it. So let's subscribe to this guy. And just like a promise, we get a then and an error. In our case, we get a next, which could emit multiple values, but ours for now we know emits one. Gives us a JSON object. And this arrow function here, we're gonna assert that this JSON age should, should equal 23. Now we know that the actual JSON was parsed correctly. Next up is the error. We could write it like this and call done error. Then up here call done to let it know it's done and it's good and then this is bad however given the fact that this is a function and it calls with parameters we'll just go ahead and put done that way it'll call done with the error so it either worked or it didn't we're going to mock the path data json the second parameter is the file path and the read file function so to make this work to actually run this unit test we have to mock the actual call mock read file mock read file is just an emulation of the file system, which takes a file name or file path, whatever, and encoding in a callback. We don't care what the heck the first two are because we're just a fake dude. And we're going to call back with nothing as the first parameter and some kind of string fixture as the second to pretend that we read from text file. What's the fixture? Uh, well, let's just copy now this because it's small enough to make the unit test pass. It's not too big. We can go ahead and include this inside the unit test. If it's a little bigger, you probably want to do that. We're going to use the back tick. It's right next to your numeric key at the top left of your keyboard. It looks kind of like that. And it's nice because you can do multi-line strings. Now, some people like it for double quotes or single quotes both work. I don't care. I just like the fact that I can do multi-line strings. That makes me happy. So this will say, yo, dude, I uh, pretended to read a text file for you and actually gave you the string. Our read configuration should work as intended, which is great. Let's go ahead and run our unit test and see if it works. Fantastic, it worked. Now, every unit test, if you're not going to do TDD, you need to make sure it fails. So let's see if we can make it fail, make sure we've seen the test fail, and know that the test actually works. We don't want to hide bugs. Passing tests are awful that you can't possibly make fail. So this one we made fail because it was supposed to equal 23. That's great. Now, if you want to go a step further, notice how we've created a predicate here. You could convert this to a predicate as well export that and then unit test that to have complete even better coverage. For now, this is good enough to show you how you can unit test RX observables.